Adventure lets you experience all the action at Camp Luna and the activities too. Adventure lets you. Wow, I thought camp would never get here, but now that it's here, I'm not so sure I want to go. I mean, who knows what's going to happen, and I definitely won't know everyone. At least mom and dad gave me this cool pocket computer. I'm calling it my Lunamate. It's like a totally private journal. I mean, I'll be able to receive messages and send emails and keep track of all my camp experiences. <laughs> dad said this thing even has a compass so I can't get lost. All right, so where's that packing list I made? Wow, so which poster should I take? So I have room for one last thing. Hmm, what should it be? Excellent! These things will look great in my cabin. 
Rocket, honey, the bus is here. Okay. Rocket, honey, the bus is here. Okay, Mom, I'll be right down. Oh, there's no turning back now. Here goes nothing. I'm very glad we finally arrived. I thought I was gonna throw up. Hey, Rosales, check it out. Oh, Stephanie, this is hideous. Mother said there'd be a hotel here. Oh, I'm sorry. No worries. Welcome, campers. The registration table is open and waiting for you. Come meet your counselors and sign in. Hi, you guys. Welcome to Camp Luna. Keep moving. Come on. Let those people off their buses. Welcome. Can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention? Great. Thanks. Hi, welcome to Camp Luna. My name's Robin. I'm one of the camp counselors. Please set your belongings down in the suitcase corral over there and form a single file line over here. The first people in line get their first choice of chores. So unless you want serious KP duty, I recommend you fall in fast. There is no way I'm doing kitchen duty. Stand back, you, you pod person. Hey, stop pushing. It's good stuff, over here. Oh look, Stephanie, somebody obviously doesn't realize who I am because she's standing in my place. And just who do you think you are? I, I'm Gabriella Castillo. Um, are you one of the campers? Am I one of the campers? Miss Castillo, I am the head of the ones, and I always get first place in line. Mm-hmm, she's right. Oh, sorry, I, uh, I didn't mean to, uh. Don't move an inch. Nicole Whitaker is the biggest bag of hot air that ever blew through whistling pines. And we're not there now, so back off, Nicole. I would advise you to do exactly what this other blonde person says. We'll see about that. Rocket, Rocket, why don't you tell this camper that she's standing in my place? After all, you do want to be considered a friend of the ones now, don't you? Oh, now what? I mean, I don't even know this other girl. Is it really worth getting on Nicole's bad side and blowing my whole trip just to defend someone I don't even know? Oh, great. And now Nicole wants me to be one of her backup singers? I don't think so. Oh, even though it means the rest of my trip will probably be miserable. Nicole, I'd love to be considered a friend of the ones, but the price of admission might be a little too high. Yeah, high and mighty. <laughs> and just what do you mean by that? I mean that I don't see why you have to make, um... Gabriella? Gabriella get out of line. I mean, she was here first. 
Rocket Movado, I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. And as for you, it's time to step back so I can take my rightful place in front. Ugh. Sharla, she's not worth it. Uh, come on, Gabriella, you can get in line with us. Thanks, you guys. Don't even think that you'll ever be one's material, Rocket Movado, because your name just fell off the waiting wow. list. Hey, new girl, I don't even think my man Cleveland could have done that. Are you Attention, please. Come on, you guys, quiet down. Thank you. Okay, so by now everyone should have already chosen their special object. And everyone should be seated at the table that represents that object. Yeah, no problem. Sure. I got it. All right. That's cool. Great, because what we've just done is chosen our teams for the weekend. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, no. Right on. Great. Just great. This means that everyone who picked a sycamore stick is on the sycamore sticks team, or everyone who picked a river rock is now on the river rocks team, and so on. Teams are probably one of the most important aspects of camp, because at Camp Luna, we're all about teamwork, supporting others, accepting new challenges, and of course, fun. And speaking of fun, it's just about time for our first team activity. I want everyone in their team t-shirts and up at the launching docks in 30 minutes for the canoe races. Wow, this is going to be so cool. I've never paddled a canoe before. Me neither. I hope they have life jackets. Hey, there's nothing to it, girls. Just stick close to us and you'll be fine. Cleve, I think we can manage on our own. Thank you very much. You guys, I know how to paddle a canoe. No really? way! See, Cleveland, I told you, this new girl's got it going on. Rocket, Rocket, I'm so glad I found you. Everything is going horribly wrong, and camp has barely begun. Hi, Mavis. Hi, Mavis. So what's up? First of all, the stupid object I picked was a stink bug, and now I'm trapped on the stink bug team with that horrible pod person. <laughs> Arnold Zeitbomb? The Zit Bomb? Well, Mavis, that seems kind of perfect, don't you think? Wave, cut it out. Remember, Camp Loon is about supporting others. Rocket, my jaw's humming like an electronic bugle. You are in grave danger. Something bad will happen in some dark secret place. Sounds to me like Rocket's gonna get short-sheeted. Very funny. 
I must go. That disgusting Arnold person is booby-trapping my belongings. Rocket, my jaw never lies. Unhand my belongings, you stinking slime mold. Don't pay any attention to her, Gabriella. She's kind of, you know, cuckoo. No, she's not. Come on, you guys. We better jam or we're going to miss the race. I heard that everyone has to wear a life vest. That's hideous. It will completely ruin my look. Woo! Go, go, go! Ah! Somebody stop him! He stole my towel! Stop him! <laughs> hey, you guys, look! Uh-oh! Wait, what? What's going on, you guys? Who <laughs> are you, little Ruben Rosales? I'm gonna get you for this! <laughs> Look, they're playing keep away with Nicole's towel. Higher. Throw it higher, Rosales. <laughs> hey, Rocket, think fast. Wow, this is totally too funny. I mean, it's just a silly old prank, right? What's the big deal if I join in? Plus, here's my chance to look cool in front of Reuben. Oh no, what am I supposed to do now? There's no way I want to look like some goody-goody or whatever, but I sure wouldn't want them to play keep away with my towel. Rocket, grab the towel! Come on, Rocket, don't freeze up now. Rocket! Oh, oh man! Go, 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 go. <laughs> Rocket Movado, why you, you, you nincompoop! I can't believe you purposely let my towel fall into the river. But Nicole, I I was trying to help you. Way to go, new girl. That was choice. Reuben, you are not helping things right now. <laughs> Attention campers. The canoe race is about to begin. Come on, Rocket. If we don't bust a move, our team will have to forfeit. The canoe race is about to begin. To start the race, press the up arrow key on your keyboard. To move left and right, Use the left and right arrow keys. If you want to race again for a better time or try another course, you can choose to play again when the race is over. Good luck! Watch out for those rapids! Oh man, the stink bug can be tipping Hey, Ginger, paddle to the right. Excellent, Miss Lovato. I hope you're looking for my towel on your way down the river. I expect to get it back. <laughs> way to go. There's Nicole's towel. Oh, watch out for those rabbits. Hey, look out, Ginger. You splashed me. Excellent, Miss 
Six rule. Oh man, that was excellent. Okay, you guys, can I have your attention, please? Damon, Arnold, Zeke, I need you to report to the front office. All of you guys, don't forget about the marshmallow roast at the fire circle tonight, right after dinner. Cool, excellent. Awesome, that'll be fun. Whatever. You guys have free time until dinner, so dry off, write in your journals, whatever you want to do, okay? See you at dinner. So, Rocket, what do you think? I mean, about the whole camp thing? Oh, uh, I don't know. I guess it's all right. I mean, it's fun and everything, but in a lot of ways, it's kind of just like school, you know? <laughs> totally. Come on, let's go dry off and find the rest of our team. about awesome, but I definitely call it out of tune. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on, Rosales. I think we've all had about enough pruning for right now. I think we should tell ghost stories. Yeah, ghost stories. Well, if you kids are going to tell stupid horror stories, it's definitely time for me to get my beauty sleep. Well, in that case, you better sleep for the rest of the year. <laughs> Don't think I didn't hear that, Ruben Rosales. Come on, Stephanie. This gathering is obviously beneath us. Hey, so do you know any stories about the Crystal Caverns? The Crystal what? The Crystal Caverns. All the teams are going up there tomorrow for a special hike or whatever. We're going to study the petroglyphs. The what? The petroglyphs. They're a collection of ancient, mysterious cave paintings. People say that each symbol means something. Come on, good staff. Why don't you tell a really, really gross story? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben Rosales, you are the most disgusting oh person. Oh good one, Rosales. <laughs> <laughs> That's my gross story. No, for real, I, I have heard about the Crystal Caverns. Okay. So a long time ago, there was this horrible famine. The Indians that lived here were starving because all their animals were disappearing. <gasps> they had no game and no meat to eat. So the Indian chief sent his medicine man into the crystal caverns to communicate with the spirits and find out what was wrong. Well? Well, the medicine man never returned. They found him months later with two holes punctured in his neck. There was a huge, dead bat by his side. And the bat had two huge fangs. Oh! So what did they do? They left him there as an offering to the vampire bats of the cavern. <gasps> Legend has it that the cave dweller, the medicine man's ghost, still haunts the caverns. You can find him by listening for special sounds or by reading the ancient petroglyphs he left behind. What was that? Oh, it's probably just a vampire or something. Hey, wow, it's really getting late. Shouldn't we be getting back to our cabins or something? Yeah, let's go. Can I come with you guys? Yes, Rocket, I should walk with you people. My psychic sense will know if there's anything following us. Okay, you guys, come on. Better hurry home before the ghosts get you. Good night, Sharla. See you guys in the morning. All right, good night. Good Bye. Night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Later, you guys. Beware the cave dweller. <laughs> <laughs> Rise and shine, campers. Don't forget your bug spray. This morning, we'll be venturing to the Crystal Caverns. Later today, we'll be creating something very special for our teams. So wipe that sleep out of your eyes and meet your counselors in the mess hall. Oh no, bug spray? Maybe I should just stay in bed. Ah, come on, Rocket, get up! We're gonna miss breakfast! All right, all right. Wow, I just hope this hike isn't a very long one. Hi, you guys, good morning. Well, I hope everyone had a good breakfast. Cause we're gonna be doing some serious hiking this morning. Oh, great. Shh. We're going up to the Crystal Caverns. Now everyone remember the buddy system we talked about. Nobody hikes alone. And teams, I want you guys to stick together and really think about teamwork and mutual support today. All right. Everyone remember your water. Find a counselor if you need first aid, and everybody hike safe. Let's go. Rocky, Rocky, I'm so glad I found you. Today is definitely the day something is going to happen. My jaw is singing like a canary in a coal mine. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? I mean that you need to be extra careful. I hear strange sounds in a dark passageway. Oh, I must go. Oh, that miserable Arnold person is stuffing frogs into my backpack. Be careful, Rocket. <laughs> okay, I will. Wow, Ginger, I don't know about this. Are you sure you don't want to turn back? Oh, come on, Rocket. Quit being such a baby. <laughs> Excuse me, but was I talking to you, Sharla? Okay, you guys, keep moving. We'll regroup once everyone's in the caves. And remember, stick to the trail. I don't want to see anyone leaving the path. Oh, this is hideous. 
First they force us on this horrible uphill death march, and now I'm perspiring. And there are no soda machines. I can't see a thing in this creepy place. Why don't you try taking your sunglasses off, Nicole? That's not funny, Ginger. When Mother and Daddy find out that I've been treated this way, we'll sue this whole camp. Oh, put a sock in it, Whitaker. You're scaring the bats away. Where? Are there really bats in here? You know, Nicole, I realize that exercising your body rather than just your mouth is kind of new and different, but it's probably good for you. Charlotte, Nicole, lighten up, will you? I mean, we're supposed to be thinking about teamwork or whatever, and all you guys can do is argue. Yeah, Nicole, just quit it, would you? Me? I believe it's you who's the problem. Hey, shh. You guys, where's Gabriella? Gabriella? Gabriella! Hey, Gabriella! Charlotte, this is all your fault. My fault? My fault? As I it. swear, I'm going to sue. Do you people know the meaning of the word oh, lawsuit? great. Now what are we supposed to do? This is Charlotte, horrible. if you'd been paying more attention to your hiking buddy and less attention to Nicole, this might not have happened. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. Wait, everybody quiet. Arguing isn't going to solve a thing. What are we going to do? Hey, check it out. Look over there. It's Gabriella's bandana. It looks like she headed into that other passageway. Oh, great. But we're not supposed to stray from the trail. You guys heard what Robin said. Oh, calm down. That bandana means nothing. Gabriella could have just as easily gone ahead of us while we were arguing. Maybe so, but what if you're wrong, Sharla? I mean, it's not like we can just leave her here. <laughs> Why not? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going to get in trouble because I disobeyed orders and went looking for someone who's such a nobody. Yeah, I'm with Nicole. Oh, that's a surprise. All right, you guys, we've got to do something. I know, we'll vote. We've got two votes to follow orders and stick to the path. And we've got two votes to risk getting in trouble. Rocket, it looks like you're the tiebreaker. What do you want to do? Wow, everyone's totally stressing. And Gabriella is probably fine. I mean, she's probably up ahead waiting for all of us to catch up. What I don't want to do is get in trouble with Robin. Oh. What do I want to do? How about go home? Oh. I mean, I know we're not supposed to leave the trail and all, but Gabriella could be in danger. She might need our help. I know we're not really supposed to be doing this, but I guess I'm in. I mean, at least I won't be getting in trouble alone, right? That's the spirit, Rocket. I still say you guys are crazy. Well, come on, Stephanie. It's our duty to go alert the adults. Figures you telling us, Whitaker. Eh, ignore him. Come on, you guys. Let's go find Gabriella. Gabriella! Ginger? Is that you? Yeah, and Charlotte Rocket, too. So where are you? I am not sure. I got lost and now I can't find my way out. It's like a maze in here. Can you guys find me? Welcome to the Crystal Caverns. Using your eyes, ears, and your mouse, gather clues to find the right path through the twisting caverns. Click on the rock on the cavern floor, roll your mouse over the cavern entrance, and listen for Gabriella's clues. Each cavern has three paths to choose from, but only one is the correct path. To enter a path, click on it. If you've chosen the right pathway, You'll receive a crystal token and can move on to the next cavern. Collect all seven crystals and you'll be a hero. To exit the activity at any time, click the lantern in the upper right corner of the screen. For more help, click on the Lunamate and select Help. So do you see anything? Shh, listen. I think Gabriella's trying to tell us something. I'll wait for you here. I know you can find me. If we keep talking, you'll definitely find the right path. I think there are clues, just like in the legend. <laughs>
Somewhere in the passage, I passed through some steam. Somewhere in the passage, I passed through some steam. My grandmother taught me that these drawings on the rocks have special meanings. They can help you find me. There's a cave painting of a wolf in here. Oh, wow! There's a cave painting of a wolf in here. I saw a green light just before I got here. I saw a green light just before I got here. Wow, you guys, look, it's Gabriella. We found her. Gabriella, you totally scared us. I mean, we thought you were in danger or something. No, just lost. 
I saw some bats in here and I had to investigate. I love bats. Get out! Seriously? And here I had you pegged for a chicken baby. Well, I was kind of scared. Hey, look! I think I found a baby bat. Isn't it cute? You better not touch it, Gabriella. I mean, bats can carry rabies and stuff. Hello? Rocket? Starla? Are you guys in here? Oh, great. Here comes the lecture about leaving the trail. Come on, you guys, we should get out of here. Yeah, come on, let's jam. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait to get back to the lodge. I knew I something was going to happen. <laughs> Mavis, I'm so glad I found you. You were totally right. Your prediction, I mean. I told you, Rocket. My jaw never lies. Yeah, well, it was totally creepy. I mean, there were bats and these mysterious cave paintings. Gabriella was lost. I can only hope that my next prediction will be as accurate. Why? What is it? I had a dream that the zip bomb was pushed into the river and was eaten by piranhas. <laughs> Mavis, you crack me up. All right, you guys, settle down. So all the supplies have been passed out for our next activity. We're going to be making friendship bracelets. Yeah, that sounds great. Oh, oh, right. oh, oh, right. oh, <laughs> and as for you groaners out there, these bracelets have a pretty cool history. Be thinking about who's given you support so far, because we're going to give our bracelets to someone else as a token of friendship. So I know who you're gonna make a bracelet for. Some brave new girl? Yeah, right, good staff. As if. Oh. Oh, look, Stephanie, we must have taken a wrong turn and wound up at the unpopular table. Nicole, I'm really not in the mood, okay? Well, at least you'll be getting more bracelets than someone else who's sitting here. Nick, you really ought to go call someone who cares, you know? I mean, lay off, will you? Think about supporting others or something. <laughs> Thanks. But I was just leaving anyway. I must find an adult and ask them if there are piranhas in the river. <laughs> <sighs> hey, best friend. Why the long face? Meg, oh wow, I can't tell you how good it is to see you. So, how you liking camp so far? Oh, I don't know. It's okay, I guess. I think it would be a lot better if you were here. <laughs> hey, why don't you make me a friendship bracelet? Because 
I mean, you know I'll always support you, Rock. Wow, totally. That's a great idea. Gotta go. Hang in there, girlfriend. It's not so bad, right? Yeah, I guess not. See ya. Cool. All right, so how do I make one of these things anyway? Hey, campers. Welcome to Friendship Bracelets. To start a bracelet, just click on any of the bead jars and start placing the beads on the weaving loom above. To get design ideas, click the button marked Pre-Made and search through the various bracelets. You can even change these and save them as your own. When you've finished a bracelet, click the Done button to weave it together. If you need more help, click on the Lunamate and press the Help tab. Check it out, here she comes, right on time. Hey, you guys, what up? So, I got the goods. Cool, us too, we got what she asked for. So, let's see it. Cool, Prefoli Pugo, check it out. Excellent, I can't wait to hear you play that. So, where are the spiders? Right here, in this jar, just like you asked. Excellent, I can't wait to see Nicole's face when I dump these on her bed tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Somebody's flashlight! Oh, it's scattered! Oh, shit! Get, get, get out of here! Oh, 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 no, no, over here! I can't! I can't! Oh, God. God. I can't. Oh, God. Oh, God. You guys, wait! It's me, Rocket! Rocket? What's that noise? What's going on out there? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Just Charla, Ruben, and Cleve. I think they're after some kind of prank or whatever. I'm sure we'll hear about it in the morning. <laughs> Man, leave it to those guys to cook something up. <sighs> Night, Rocket. Night, Ginger. <laughs> Ginger! Ginger, wake up! Listen, it's Reuben. What? What? What is that? That horrible noise. Did Reuben take the Revly bugle? Ow! <laughs> 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 spiders! <laughs> 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 
Rise and shine, campers. It's our last day of camp, and tonight is the night of our talent show. Breakfast is now being served, so wipe the sleep out of your eyes and meet your counselors in the mess hall. Cool! on my bed. Yeah, Charlotte, <laughs> someone else in our cabin says they saw you do it. Oh, pipe down, bubblehead. <laughs> you guys. It's been a totally great camp, but it's not quite over yet because we have the best and biggest Camp Luna tradition still to come. That's right. It's the Camp Luna talent show. Anyone can perform, but it's first come first served on the sign up list. And we only have 20 slots open. So if you want to be in the show, sign up on the list as soon as possible. The rest of the afternoon is free, so you all have time to practice your acts, get your costumes ready or whatever. We'll regroup back here after dinner. So see you then. Oh no, it's talent show? I don't think I can get up in front of everyone. Gabriella, if you can hang around with bats, you can definitely get up on stage in front of brats. <laughs> Maybe so, but that still doesn't solve the problem of what we're going to do up there. Well, all I can say is that the best act is going to be Nicole's and mine. Exactly. You see, Stephanie and I are going to perform a reenactment of a corporate hostile takeover. Oh, please. Spare us. Oh, and like, what could you possibly do, Sharla? Mm, well, I... I was thinking I might read some of my poetry or whatever. Poetry? Since when does she write poetry? I think she's been writing poetry for a while, actually. Hmm. You guys, I think we should get our hands on the camp sound system and, you know, do a DJ hip-hop jam or something. Oh my gosh, that would be excellent. I don't know, you guys. Oh, come on, Gabriella. It'll be awesome. 
I mean, aren't we supposed to be learning to accept new challenges this weekend? Besides, you don't have to be center stage or anything. Rocky, you guys, your auras have definite musical overtones to them. I think that means you must perform together. Great, it's decided then. Well, wait a minute. Mavis, what are you going to do tonight? I'm going to make my debut appearance as Madame Zola, world famous psychic. And somehow, I will finally ruin Arnold Zeitbaum. Oh, brother. Come on, Stephanie. Let's go practice our performance. So it's settled then. Come on, you guys. You better start practicing. Excellent. Oh, cool. Cool. Let's go. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Okay. Let's go. yeah. Ready to try your mixing skills as a DJ? Start by checking out the sounds in Explore Mode. Choose from four different bass, drums, guitar, and keyboard tracks, plus 10 different sound effects. When you're ready to put them together, switch to Rehearse Mode. Click on the tracks you want to start the song, then click Go. While the song is playing, you can add and change tracks. Click the Repeat button to hear the song loop, or press Clear to start over. When you've got a mix you like, switch to Record Mode. Your song will play through once more. When you've finished, click the Done button. Keep your ears open to hear your song later in the game. For additional help, click on the Lunamate and select Help. Wow, I can't wait to play this at the talent show. 
Welcome campers to the annual Camp Luna Talent Show. We have a lot of talented acts tonight, so sit back and enjoy the show. No, 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 no. You see, I've bought your company. I'm taking you over. And as of now, everything is under my control. I don't think so. Because we don't want to sell. Stephanie, the script? Well, it's too late. <clears throat> my lawyers have already drawn up the papers. Oh, no, they haven't. <laughs> oh, yes, they have. Mm -mm. Oh, no, they have not. Oh, yes, they have. <laughs> A poem by Charla Ray Norville. Shadows of barbed wire hide a garden in bloom. I walk with my shadows beneath the pale moon. But a light splits the darkness. The bats fly away. Your smile, bright sunlight, shines on my black day. <laughs> And now, without further ado, I present our final act of the evening, Moon to Moon! and shine campers rub that sleep out of your eyes and pack up your suitcases because the buses are here so come to the mess hall for breakfast and say farewell to your counselors and teammates hey rock so you going home already hi maggie muffin yep time to pack up so what'd you think it was all right wow you should have seen us last night ginger gabriella and i performed in the talent show cool and you thought it was going to be a horrible experience. Looks like you made a new friend, too. Yeah, I guess I did. Well, have a good trip back, girlfriend. Thanks, Maggie. Bye. Hey, campers. Hi. Hey, Robin. Hey, hey what's, what's up? up, Robin? So, this is it. The end of our awesome camp time. Though it's not quite over yet, we have one last surprise for you. It's your Camp Luna scrapbook. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Right, that's awesome. Cool. That's cool. They're on the tables here around the welcome field. Use the craft supplies to personalize your books. And don't forget to get your friend's signatures. I hope you had a really great time at Camp Luna. Bye, you guys. Bye, Robin. 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 Bye, Wow, these scrapbooks are so cool. Yeah, they really are. So, I was wondering if, you know, if you'd sign my scrapbook or whatever. Yeah, Rocket, I'd love to. <laughs> but only if you sign mine. Of course. popular person will recover my towel. Love 
love this bracelet. Wow, this has been totally fun. But I can't help wondering, what would happen if I could go back and do things differently?